Well, yeah, good afternoon. It's afternoon, but Bobby Lee here with Hurricane Creek Farms. Yeah, we don't start filming many in the afternoon. Had no plans to film today, but had a situation arise that we thought, um, yeah, it would probably be worth filming. Gonna be a stinky one, gonna be a nasty one, but y'all give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into this mess. Okay, so you can see, got a cow in the alley right there. Need to get her on in the chute. That's as far as she wants to go right now. You may recognize that's the cow that had the prolapse, what, I don't know, two, three, four weeks ago. I'd have to look back at my notes. But we could tell something hadn't been right. She, she's kind of, still been coming to feed, but you'll see back here, calf is coming the correct way, but calf is dead. Um, now she could have been one that the neighbor's bull got to, but otherwise, if it, she's bred by our bull, she shouldn't even be calving for at least another two weeks. And so, yeah, we, we knew when we put that prolapse back in as bad as it was, it was likely she would lose the calf. Um, thankfully, she cooperated just enough for us to get her up here where we can try to get that get it out of there. Um, I saw her this morning, she was she did not come up to feed, she was laid off by herself. <laughs> Stopped to check on her and she tried to tried to get me. Um, pretty gentle cow, but anytime she has a calf, especially a new calf, she uh, uh the Brahma definitely comes out in her. And um I don't know if it was just a combination of her feeling bad or feeling like she's in labor, she was not having it. She feels bad enough now though she has not fought me. We got her up here, thankfully, with really not much trouble, but we'll get her on there in, in the chute and uh, get ready to dive into a stinky mess. Okay, so she cooperated, went on in there for us. You can probably get a little better look here. We do have nose, front feet. Um, we'll see. We'll see what kind of mess we're about to get into. Um, get some gloves on and uh, yeah, see if we can save this cow's life. This is one of those moments where you really decide or you question yourself, you know, do you really want to be a farmer or a rancher? Driving a tractor, you know, messing with baby calves, selling truckloads of stocker steers, stuff like that's fun. This on the other hand, not fun. The uh I'm thankful for you guys watching that you can't smell it. You just have to take my word for it. When I say that the smell is not of this world, there's a fair chance my wife will not let me sleep in the house tonight. The calf has unfortunately been dead, it would appear. Um, really don't know why she didn't go ahead and have it on her own. Um, calf was not obviously dead. We would use potentially a little different technique here, but coming the right way. The hope is that we can just pull it right here with the my hand, not have to get calf jack involved. Tell you what, I'm gonna open this gate. That's gonna mess up the camera. Come on, cow, help me. Give me a push. There you go, you're pushing now. And I imagine YouTube's probably gonna flag this one as inappropriate for some audiences. Don't know why, this is real life. This is us trying to save a life. But um, we're gonna keep filming. We made, we made some progress. If she'll keep pushing and helping us, we should be able to get this thing out. I don't wanna jinx us, but would not expect a great deal of difficulty. Probably really, really stupid of me to declare that. 
generally right before things start to go poorly. All right, enough mess, and we're gonna go get the calf jack. Um, get this thing out of here. Um, it's kind of a balancing act, you know, how aggressive do you wanna be? You don't wanna mess around, take too much time. Um, but yeah, we need to get it out of there. We need to get her traded. Give her some semblance of a chance recovering from this. Okay, so the calf jack, which not something we ever fight Frankly, as you may be able to appreciate from this one, it has not been used in a while. Got the cobwebs all over it. But, yes, um, sometimes the situation does call for it. sound effect there a big old bull calf oh my goodness um got a little bit of graphic there so we're gonna make sure that it's the only one I was taught in vet school after you pull a calf, you know, regardless of the calf status, um, check for tears and spares. Um, yeah, really sucks to lose a calf. Now we want to do what we can, be sure we don't lose her. <laughs> All right, so we flushed her out, cleaned her out as best we could. Again, it's really nasty. Um, Calf actually held together better than I thought. I was afraid, not knowing how long calf may have been dead. Sometimes they do literally fall apart. Not too too graphic. We're gonna put some uterine boluses in there for antiseptic purposes. We're gonna treasure with an antibiotic. Um, again, just a lot of that nasty, nasty fluid in there. Um, yeah, you don't know. I, I don't know what I put her chances at. Maybe 50% at this point, um, unfortunately. But they were zero if we didn't get that calf out of there. Thankfully, we, got, we were able to do that. Getting tongue-tied. Um, it's a little chilly. Uh, it's, I think the high today is like 35, 36. It's maybe about that right now. But you know, Short sleeves, a little bit of wind blowing. So get a dose of antibiotic in her get her turned out and see how this goes we'll see if she'll step out of there oh mama she's really weak um one thing about these these brahma or brahma cross cattle they are tough tough as nails which may have actually worked against her because you know you you wish you second guess yourself so we, we should have got her up a day or two ago but she really was not showing that many signs you know that, that there was really a significant problem until really just this morning um, being tough may serve her well now, though it certainly certainly won't hurt. But she was getting weak there in a little while, but I was afraid she was going to go down. I don't want her to go down, period, because um, that's a bad situation, um, but especially not in the shoot where we really can't can't do much to try to even help her. But we're just going to have to watch her close for these next few days and see how it goes. We're going to get her some hay, some feed. I doubt she feels like eating right now, but... Um, get her set up where she can stay up here thankfully we've got good weather it's been cold 
but dry and so and obviously sun shining pretty but yeah not 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 the way we wanted things to go for her ultimately but we're hoping for at least somewhat of a happy ending so now everybody's favorite part of doing any job is cleanup time oh well that's a dud there we go so water hose is a little frozen never fails you got to video something things don't quite work out ever like you think they should come on baby she's gonna thaw out well as we wait for the water pressure to build up yeah just clean up We'll set this stuff out there in the uh, sun to dry. There we go. We're getting there. Let's set this change and all off. None of this has to be sterile or anything, but don't want to leave all that you know, fetal tissues and whatnot on there. We'll actually take those chains and hooks in the house and don't tell my wife, but the uh put them in the laundry room sink mud room and uh can spray them off real good in there spray this off real good so next for this video we're gonna move on to something a little more pleasant a little less stinky our little uh black white face calf there you see well at least he gets out of the way out of our hereford cow that had uh that's the cow that had the mastitis only herford that is calved so far because again none of them should have been calving yet but she obviously got bred by when the neighbor's bull jumped in i don't know if you can really appreciate the video a poor little calf i mean she's making it but her mom does not have any milk we have not supplemented her with anything at this point other than that one dose of colostrum we gave her when she was first born but i was just noticing this one like a calf like she just looks looks like she's gonna starve if she's left to you know feed only from her mom so we'll see if she'll take a bottle no um, she she took the colostrum from us really well we're not gonna take her away from her mom and bottle feed her but if she'll do this we can give her a bottle or even i just mix up a half a bottle for the first first try we can supplement her a little each day and hopefully help her along but so we now have two cows for today that, that are probably on the cold list. One, her, and then of course, right up there, top of the hill, you may can see land down there. It's that 501. A cow looks pretty decent for us having just done that. Well, time will tell over the next few days. We'll see if we can get her to take this bottle. I got more right here. There's actually something in this bottle or something in this nipple. This video is going to get even more exciting and interesting. Yes, underneath here. So that'll be fun. We can let her have this bottle first before we get to messing with that. I know, it's because you ain't making nothing for her. We're having to do this. Yeah? We're not taking her away, we're just picking up where you're slacking off. You probably appreciate it there. A lot of swelling just on that lower jaw. Feel pretty certain it's an abscess, so yeah, the day's gonna stay a little stinky after all. Right there, I know you don't understand, but. <laughs> There she goes. That abscess right there is another reason why you always carry a pocket knife with you. Okay, I think I got the camera set up. So, let me get the gloves off. I know, baby. Get the knife out. But yeah, I feel pretty certain that's gonna be an abscess. Oh yeah, hope you can see that, pretty nice, oh yeah, so, if 
I had some disinfectant on me to flush that out. Oh yeah, smells kind of like what we pulled out of the and cleaned out the end of that other cow. But uh, yeah, nice little abscess on the jaw. There you are. But some remnants there on the blade. But you know, reason number six thousand two hundred and seventy-nine why you always carry a pocket knife. Not the most aseptic way of doing that, but it would have eventually built up enough pressure, probably ruptured and drained on its own. Bus going ahead and doing that, she should feel much better. Basically, abscess like that. Excuse me. <laughs> the uh, you know the body's walling off that infection, but yeah, she should be in much better shape now. But anyway, um, so. Yeah, plan is we'll keep supplementing her with a, you know, a half bottle to a bottle, um, you know, a quart or two of milk, um, milk replacer every day, just to help mom out, cause or help her out, cause mom isn't doing much good for her. Yeah, you see these two calves. I don't know how much you can appreciate size discrepancy, but she's just a day or two older than that calf, and that calf is probably, <laughs> and may have been a little bigger when it was born too, of course, but. You know that calf's gonna run off and leave her as far as size and then too you saw there where you know we had kind of tried to graft her onto um, lucy when they spent the night or two there in the barn when the weather was rough lucy's just not very um amenable to that idea so i wish she was because she obviously has more than enough milk but Probably gonna about wrap it up this video. Maybe a little shorter one. Again, we had really no plans. Didn't think that we were gonna be doing anything that interesting today. Just putting out some hay for the cows and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, we had the situation having to pull that dead calf. Um, decided we'd supplement her on the milk. I'm glad we did. One, just cause she needs calories, but two, finding that abscess. But appreciate y'all watching. Um, yeah, calving's gonna continue. Hopefully, that'll be the only calf we pull this year. Um, and yeah, we'll be right here. Hope y'all remember, eat beef and God bless. And of course now she thinks I'm her mother. So, But again, if she'll come running every time she sees me, it'll make me doing this on a daily basis a little easier. All right, we'll have one for you tomorrow. Maybe around noon or so. I gotta work, so it'll either be really early in the morning, around noon, or sometime after six o'clock tomorrow night.